Here is a different look for you guys. I am up north of where I live. This is a family, it's an Amish family. They make firewood and I buy a lot of firewood off of them. And they were the, this was the guy that I sold my first firewood processor to, my Dyna. I thought maybe I could come up here and show you what it looks like. Uh, he's running his kinetic splitter right now. This is all oak. Uh, they separate everything by species. This is oak and they sell a lot of uh, mixed hardwoods too. And I met this guy a couple years ago and he makes firewood for me. It's made to my specifications and uh, it's just another way to keep my inventory up. This is the this is the Dyna that I was telling you about. Uh, this used to be mine. This was the first processor that I bought. This is the SC12 XP. It's their entry level, smallest machine, but it doesn't have that manual pull down. It's got a hydraulic upgrade to it. It has a two, four, and six way knife on it. And this is the six way. Uh, this is the two way knife, or excuse me, the four way. Um, it slides on the, the two-way, which is welded to the machine. It uses a 404 pitch chain. Uh, it's an 18-inch bar. This will take a much bigger log than mine. Um, but, you know, this is a great machine. It's well-built. It's with all angle iron. It's got very good welds. It uses the hydraulic fluid for uh, the bar lubrication, so you gotta keep your fluid level up on this. It has a Honda 630, so it's just a little bit smaller than what's on my Yappa, and it's got the uh, a fuel tank. The fuel tank won't come off of this one, uh, like, the, like mine does. It has, is a big, it has a big chain in feed, and you can really muscle logs around with this. This machine took a much bigger log and it would handle crooked logs uh, a lot easier than the Yappa. Uh, this is the log lift and that was the key for getting into a, a firewood processor. I had to have it be able to pick the log up off the ground and I didn't need a bobcat. This was, I didn't like the design of this. I thought this was kind of dangerous. It has these dogs and man, they're razor sharp. And if you're working with someone else, you could accidentally hit the wrong lever when you're working the machine. And man, if someone's standing next to this, it could just tear a hole into your leg. That always worried me about this. This has the hydraulic upgrade. It's got the saw, your infeed, the log load, and this is your splitter. Um, uh, it's got some valves. Yeah, this big chain in feed here is pretty beefy. Um, so why did I get rid of this machine? It's a great machine. It's going to last forever. It just wasn't the uh, right machine for me. The, the knife is not adjustable on this machine. And I found myself just wasting way... Uh, a lot of wood on it because it was unless the log was perfectly shaped it was hitting the knife wrong and it would just waste a lot of wood and I was getting all these weird shapes and I was spending too much time resplitting and that's what what resplitting the wood and uh, I just did it by myself I was just spending way too much time resplitting and it was taking me all day to make firewood that would be like restaurant grade firewood so uh, I just felt you know from all, and then all the extra this does not have the conveyor on it um, it was a three thousand dollar extra so I decided not to get the conveyor it was just a lot of extra work and it was wear and tear on my body and if I what I was shooting for was a career in firewood where I can keep doing this without wearing myself out. I'm not getting any younger. And I just knew I had the wrong machine. So I was able to sell this and then buy that Yappa. 
Uh, these guys are very happy with this machine. They have a lot more people on their crew to make firewood. Um, and the Yappa allowed me to make good firewood yeah, with minimal touches. So I don't need a lot of extra people to help me. I can do it all by myself. And I went from an all day production to make a quart of firewood with multiple touches and every single log I touched by my hands and would throw them up into the trailer. Uh, now with that Yappa, I don't touch it at all until, you know, I'm moving that log up onto the infeed and then that's it. But anyhow, this was something I just wanted to show you. I, uh, this machine still means a lot to me because this represents my start into the industry. And I'm glad that it's still it's finding a home and it's being well used and well cared for and um, and that's what you got you know there is scale in any firewood enterprise you know you see these gigantic firewood processors that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars but man you got to have a huge support around it with more machines bobcats loaders uh, conveyors for your sawdust and I'm just looking for a way uh, that I can make a living with firewood with minimal machinery and something where I can minimize my expenses and still make, make money doing it. And um, you know, picking a small firewood processor was, was the, uh, it, it, they cost a lot less. <laughs> so it was, um, the, the price to get into the game was a lot less. And um, that's what this machine, it, it was sold by um, Mid-Atlantic Dyna in West Virginia. I went and picked it up myself and pulled it home with my truck. And yes, you get a lot of stairs pulling this down the road. Uh, here's the one thing I, if you're into hydraulics, this one hose is real tight up against the fender. I just, even though it's a low pressure hose, I thought maybe this is going to cause trouble someday. Okay, so that's all. Um, I just, uh, you know, I I like all of the, the wood that they make. It's just high quality. It's always consistent, 16 inch, split small. Uh, they will load it for me when I come up here. And um, this is how busy they've been. This was all logs last time I was up here. They've made every single one of them in the firewood. So there you go. All right, listen, I really appreciate everyone watching the videos and I will keep doing my best to keep you guys entertained and showing you a little bit of what I do and trying to make ends meet in the firewood game. We post every Sunday and Wednesday. And I appreciate your comments. And um, please like and subscribe, guys. I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you later.